In our last video, we set the stage with the basics on how to boost your executive presence in a virtual setting. In this video, we focus on logistics, setting yourself up for success right from the beginning. The one thing you want to start with is your best camera shot. Now, Allison and I have talked about this a lot. We've experimented with different shots ourselves, and we came down to the fact that you can really stand or sit. So in this case, I'm sitting, she's standing, so we could show you some different ones. You don't want your background to be too distracting, and you do want the lighting to land on your face, so it has to come from the side or from the front. You don't want it in the back of you. If there's an open window, close the shades, because otherwise you look too dark. You want to set your camera in the right position. This is really important. The camera has to be shooting the camera if it's on a computer or a regular camera or the webcam on your forehead or higher. You do not want the camera shooting up at you because it can be shooting right up at your nose, up your nose, and that's not a good look for anyone. So top down is better than bottoms up. Yeah. Tell us what you've got set up there, Penny, because I know we worked about it. Maybe people would like to know what's sort of happening behind the scenes here. Okay, so what I did, because I am in a small condo and I have a great view, but you can't look out the window because you would end up having too much light. So nothing else really struck me. I don't have an office here. And so I decided to choose this painting, which is my favorite painting. And I thought, well, it's, you know, it's not too distracting. It's got a lot of color and it seems to you know, be in a, in a position where I get light on my face. Allison, how about yeah. you? Talk about your setting. Well, we decided to show right two examples. You're sitting on standing. And so in order to stand, I actually had to put a stool up on my desk and the laptop on the stool so we could have that positioning that you just described so that it's kind of shooting at me as opposed to imagine if my laptop was all the way on my desk, it would really be shooting, as you said, up my nose. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say that I have mine on two boxes and two books right now. And I could yeah. even get it a little yeah. higher, but I was afraid it would fall off. So. <laughs> All right, so some common pitfalls you want to avoid. Yeah, send out invites invites in advance with all the information, including the technical information, and ensure that everyone can use the technology in advance, especially if this is a big high stakes meeting. You want to make calls in advance or at least get people on the phone early to make sure they know how to do it. Um, require everyone to turn on their camera unless there are bandwidth issues. Sometimes there are, and then you can't have everyone on camera or the whole thing's going to crash. So if possible, require people to turn on their cameras so they're more engaged. Close Outlook. Require everyone to close anything that's going to have an alarm or a ding or a bell. Make sure everybody knows how to turn the mute button on and off because they'll have to turn it on to talk and turn it off when they're not talking. It's really important. Otherwise, you get a lot of feedback. So those are a few tips on virtual logistics. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we focus on content, how to engage an audience virtually. It's a real art. We hope you'll check out the video and see you then.